Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all how I give my master bathroom a bit of a facelift. Here is what our bathroom looked like before I started. Now we are planning on remodeling this bathroom next year, but until then I thought I would give it a bit of a refresh. I hope I can also give y'all some good tips along the way for refreshing your space. I want to show y'all how I reorganize my space as well to make it more functional, so it's a room that I actually enjoy being in. Now before you begin your bathroom makeover you want to deep clean your master bedroom so that way you're not emptying your bathroom items into a cluttered and messy room. And now that your bedroom is clean you're ready for step number one. For step number one you're going to want to empty everything out of your bathroom space into different sections on the floor outside of your bathroom. The sections I have are shower items, the items inside our vanity, vanity countertop items, wall decor and bathroom decor items, the items that were on our bathroom shelves, and the items that go on the bathroom floor. Once everything is emptied out and divided into sections, you're ready for step number two. So for step number two, you want to go through each section one by one, deciding what items you want to give away, what items are trash, and what items you want to keep. With the items you decided to keep, you want to go ahead and organize them as best as you can in each section on the floor. You can now go ahead and wipe down the organized items you are going to keep with a clean cloth or a cleaning wipe. I used a bucket with hot soapy water and a cleaning rag. I also like to take this time to wipe down our trash can and put a new trash bag in it. Now you may need to wash some of the items with hot soapy water in your kitchen sink and then let them air dry on your kitchen counter. I like to take items like our shower caddy to our kitchen sink just to give it a bit more of a deep clean with a scrubbing pad and hot soapy water as well as some other miscellaneous items that I feel like need a bit more TLC. And then I also take some bleach and spray all of my plastic makeup storage containers and allow it to sit for 15 minutes while I soak my makeup brushes in a cleaning solution. And then I rinse them all off with hot water and let all of those items air dry on a drying mat overnight. Once you are done with that, you are ready for step number three. For step number three, you want to go ahead and measure your bathroom underneath your vanity as well as any storage shelves you may have and go purchase new storage items for your space so it is all matching. One little tip I have is when you go purchase new organizational storage items for your home, choose one color and always buy that color. That way you're bins flow throughout your whole home. I bought this wire stand from Walmart for $8 just for extra added storage under the vanity and I bought these small white baskets from Walmart for $2.47 a piece and the larger ones for $2.97 a piece. I also bought some new shelf liners for underneath the vanity as well as some cleaning products. Now that you have bought all of your organizational items, you are ready for step number four, which is the fun part. You get to organize all of your items in your new storage bins. I also like to organize my makeup products in my clean makeup containers at this point in time. Now you are ready for step number five. For step number five, you want to deep clean your entire bathroom. The first thing I like to do is spray my tub and tiles around with bleach spray as well as my vanity countertop and allow it to sit while I clean other areas of the bathroom. Then I go ahead and I sweep my floors and then I take a bucket with hot soapy water and a scrubbing pad and I scrub my floors and then I take a clean rag and I wipe down the floors and the baseboards. Then I do the same thing to the countertops and then I spray the surface of my vanity with my homemade all-purpose cleaner and I scrub the outside as well as the inside. I also do this with our vanity drawers and then I wipe everything off with a hot rag. 
Then I spray the walls with my all-purpose cleaner and I wipe them off with a hot clean rag and then I scrub and wipe down the door and then I clean the toilet really well. Now I go ahead and I clean our mirror with my homemade glass cleaner. Before I move on to painting, I go ahead and I fill in all of my holes. Now I did go ahead and scrub and wipe down my shower surround at this point as well. I just didn't end up filming that part since I got soaked with water. <laughs> but now you are ready for step number six. For step number six, you want to go ahead and paint. This is one of my favorite steps. It's amazing what a fresh coat of paint will do to a space. I went ahead and allowed my paint to fully dry. It's hard to tell with my lighting, but this white paint turned out so nice. It made our small, old, tired bathroom look so much bigger and brighter, and my husband really loved it as well. So when you're all done with painting, you're ready for step number seven, which is the fun part. You get to put everything back into your space. I hope you all enjoyed my mini bathroom makeover. I hope this inspires you in your space and shows you that you really don't need a lot of money to make your space into something beautiful. So just be encouraged by that. This took me two full days of work. I spaced it out just so I didn't feel like I had to rush through it and get it all done in one day. And I'm so happy with how it turned out please make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment down below. I love to read y'all's comments and let me know what you would like to see me do a video on next. I love you all so much and thanks so much for watching.